Cal here. And Rosa. And today we are planning the ultimate horse themed slumber party. Let's go! I think we can all agree that the best part about a slumber party is the snacks. The snacks are the best part. Oh Obviously. my gosh. I could eat all of this for my whole life. For your whole life. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to the horse themed cupcake DIY. Here's what you need. Cupcakes, cookies in the shape, candy corn, some spooky Halloween eyes, and, and icing. icing. Let's get to decorating. First, you need to take your little cookie that is in the shape of a horse hat. Press it down. Take your candy corn for the ears, and then candy eyes. And you can just use some icing to stick the eyeball onto the cookie. This is creativity at its finest. <laughs> I'm gonna make mine look a little bit like spirit. You can use your icing for the little forelock. Adding a mane, and we're done. They are so cute. What are you gonna name your horse? In honor of spirit, I think I'm gonna name him Spirit. Ooh, I think in honor of Chica Linda, I will name this little horsey Chica Linda. How's it going, Spirit? Uh, not bad, it's all right. How are you, Chica Linda? I'm just dandy. Just <laughs> <laughs> Let's test these out. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. These are these delicious. are some good cupcakes. Oh, do you want to make some hay bales? Um, is that even a question? Of course. Of course. Here's what you're gonna need. One fourth of a cup of butter, 10 ounces of marshmallows, or just one package, five cups of puffed rice cereal, then red licorice, and of course, a spoon. And a bowl. Let's get to it. First step is to take your marshmallows. Dump them in. Rosa, will you do the honors? I will Put do in the, the honors. Butter. Okay, here's a repeat. One. <laughs> We're gonna put it in the microwave on high for three minutes and make sure you're using a microwave safe bowl. All right, so we just took our marshmallows and butter out of the microwave. Rosa is mixing it all up. It's so sticky. <laughs> now we are going to add our puffed rice cereal. Gotta put some elbow grease into this. Majestic. Majestical. Majestic, magical, phantasmorific. Once everything is all mixed up, you want to take a 13 by 9 inch pan. We buttered ours so you can use butter or a nonstick cooking spray. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Spread it out over the pan. Make sure it is equal, even. And now we're ready to let it cool and harden so they're all cool and cut. Final. Yeah. But we are going to take our red licorice strips. It's going to look like twine in a hay bale. These look so good! I say we take a little bite out. Yeah, we're ready. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Top notch. Now that we have our snacks figured out, what do we do now? Photo booth time. <laughs> For your very own DIY photo booth, you want a big area. We're in the barn right now. So you can pose with all of your friends. And obviously we don't wear boots to bed, but since we're in the Usually. barn. <laughs> and we got a nice, really cool horsey backdrop because, you know, all about horses. We have some decorations, scenery that'll exactly. look cute in the picture. You gotta liven it up a little bit. Feel free to add any decorations you want. The more, the better. And our props. The glorious, the glorious props. <laughs> we have my favorite, the speech bubbles. Magical ones. Horseshoes. Of course, some cowgirl hats. Found this in the basement. Hi. Oh, you're freaking me out right now. Basically, anything fun and anything that's gonna make your photo booth that much better. I just found the best photo booth prop ever. Hey, Allie. Thanks for crashing our slumber party. Sometimes horses don't cooperate <laughs> during a photo session. <laughs> Still love Allie here. Twinning. Every good slumber party ends with you watching your favorite show with your favorite people. So snuggle up in your sleeping bath to watch Spirit Riding Free on Netflix. Don't forget to share this video with your friends that you want to invite to your next sleepover. Bye guys! Good night!